Hey everybody, it's uh, May 18th, Monday, May 18th. It's a beautiful day here in the neighborhood um, and it's good to be with you again. Um, thank you for your kind words that you have shared. Uh, many of you have shared that these daily devotions have been helpful and that the worship services being online are helpful. Um, please know that in some way these will continue um, once we are uh, able to meet together again in worship, um, and we are putting plans in place to, um, to get the equipment and, and the resources gathered together and all the things um, that we need to um, in order to make sure that these things can happen um, in the, over the long term um, and make it uh, as good of a, a resource as we uh, possibly can. Um, and we're continuing to learn about um, how to do that. For our devotion today, I'm going to uh, totally borrow an idea from God Pause, which is uh, a resource that Luther Seminary puts out. Um, I've mentioned this to you before. It's a resource that you can subscribe to, and they send you the devotions online. Um, and this is the devotion um, from uh, Sunday, um, and it was based on the hymn. God be with you till we meet again. And this is one of my favorites and, and maybe one of yours. First verse, God be with you till we meet again. By good counsel's guide uphold you. With the shepherd's care unfold you. God be with you till we meet again. So that idea that God is with us until we meet again, that God is with us outside of our place of worship, whether it's online or whether it's in person, that God goes with us, that the Spirit is with us. And like a, a shepherd's care, um, guiding us and, and guarding us and taking care of us. Um, may we let that shepherd's care guide us so that we uh, follow the counsels of, of good things and good people and good um, resources so that we are upheld. Um, it's a prayer. It's, a, it's an ideal. It's something that we have to work at. Verse 2, God be with you till we meet again. Holy wings securely hide you. Daily manna still provide you. God be with you till we meet again. That image of holy wings, of God's holy wings, like a, um, a mother hen putting out her wings to protect her chicks underneath them. That's the image that is uh, used in scripture, that God um, spreads out God's wings to protect us and to take care of us. And that daily manna, that daily manna has provided us through these words, through these devotions, through other resources that you may use. Pick up your Bible and read it, pray, talk to God, listen to God. Those are those sources of daily manna for us. Verse 3, God be with you till we meet again. When life's perils thick confound you, put unfailing arms around you. God be with you till we meet again. When life's perils thick confound you, nothing else needs to be said. This is thickly confounding to all of us these days. Um, and I wish... There was some clarity. I wish there was some insight. Uh, insight. I wish there was some endpoint that we could look at, but there isn't. And so the verse just says it all. Life's perils are thickly confounding us these days. And so that image of God's unfailing arms uh, gathering us and, and holding us. We want so much to be able to hug and to embrace each other. I want to just see people, but you know, to be able to embrace each other. I've seen a few people and people that I would normally hug and and they would hug me back. You know, we can't do that right now, but God can do that. God can wrap his arms around us and embrace us. And that could happen through cards and phone calls, through these messages, through resources that we share in a lot of different ways. God can uh, come around us and embrace us. And so, Till we meet again um, is the gist of the hymn. Till we meet again. May all these things give us strength and give us support and give us encouragement. Let us pray. Gracious God, indeed, till we meet again, we need your strength. We are confounded by these days, and so we need your help. Surround us with your arms. Cover us with your wings. Embrace us with your love and your peace so that we may know in all these days that you are with us and that we are not alone, nor are we forgotten, nor are we forsaken. It is in Christ's holy and precious name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow.